trip has been eventful and we're not even like a full day in would be an understatement oh my god go from perth to albany yesterday took like five and a half hours didn't get down there to pure dark and first time in a camper van so we didn't know how to like set it up with all the power and the water and all that there and then that was grand got sorted woke up this morning flat tire fully flat tire like completely flat and i was like oh my god because we wanted to get a pile of stuff done this morning like early because we have a big drive like we had a big drive after thank god the boy in the space beside us one had tools two wanted to help and three did help like he literally sorted the whole thing for us thank god but we were way behind schedule then and then tried to go to our first beach which was called misery beach which is apparently one of the nicest beaches in albany and you couldn't get into it because they were doing like stuff with the, with the road on the way down so that was annoying and then we went to another few beaches so we went to what was the second one called frenchman bay or something yep. and then we went to little beach which was so nice but we had planned to like sit there and have lunch and you know just chill for a while and then we got a notification notification what do you call that what do you call that a thing on the dash saying that the oil in the, the brakes brake was fluid. low so the brake fluid so now we have no clue what to do and we were too scared to sit there in case like something happened with the car and like there's barely any signal on our way here so the car the camper van so it's not off to a good start but we're trying to be positive this is the camper van we're staying in it is like it's got like everything we need like it's got like, we can cook here obviously a big double bed got a bathroom with a shower all that but see to be honest i don't know if we need all this but do this now the hassle we're having with the camper i honestly think it would have just been easier to drive like a normal car and just stay in like airbnbs but we're trying to be positive I prepped off some overnight oats last night because I'm prepared. So we're having lunch now and we are now at the start of a five hour drive to Esperance. So yeah. We have arrived at the campsite five hours later. Oh my God, I'm telling you that is a long sail and like three and a half hours maybe before we had no signal on our phones. So like, oh my God, it's a lot. Like I just feel like we have another day just wasted sitting in the car. Like it's like half seven now and we've just landed. And also this car park we're staying at, a uh, camping site called RAC but like it's so hectic like we came in and we had no clue where we were going because it was like pitch black but we're parked up now we were actually tempted to like go out and get food because we just couldn't be asked but we definitely are not driving this car anywhere um because it's so hard to park as well because it's absolutely massive but yeah good morning guys it is Saturday isn't it Saturday Saturday morning now up oh, got a coffee guys I drink coffee now yeah I do very strong but we're at this wee bakery it's called bread local so it's only open on fridays and saturdays from like eight to one and this place is full of people so it's obviously really popular um so they do like hot food and you've got all your big stuff coffee and there's like a wee salad bar as well so it's actually really nice and there's loads of seating and stuff too so they do they can accommodate for a lot of people which are traveling all over there too but yeah today did get off to a great start <laughs> as always with this trip um but no, we had a wee bit of an eye and just got out and made breakfast, kind of chilled. And then as we were driving off, the fridge wasn't closed properly and we had a glass um, container and a splash of water. <laughs> Anything else want to go wrong this trip? Dougie's not impressed. Um, but we're just going to stay like round this wee like, a local town, like actually like, actual Esperance today. There's a couple of nice beaches, so we're just going to do that and not spend the whole day in the car which is going to be absolutely lovely so we have made it to our first beach of the day this is blue haven um it's actually a bit cloudy now but it is so nice so we parked at like so when you come down there's two car parks one's for salmon beach and one's for blue haven we parked at the salmon beach one because um it was a wee bit like of a height to get up here and with the car van it just we weren't risking it but yeah we're just gonna lie here and chill for a while it's actually roasting He's getting the drone up, that's what he's doing now. Okay, we've left that beach. One thing I have noticed about the beaches here is I'm like out of breath walking upstairs, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> 
not a lot of them have the wee like shirts outside um whereas in Perth like everywhere has shirts everywhere has toilets so we need to find a way to get all the sand off us before getting into the car van because we don't want to get it all sandy okay so our next stop is a place called wiley bay but um we couldn't bring the camper van on the beach obviously so we can't actually get to the bit so it's like two big rocks and like it looks like lovely like all the sand in between um i'll try and put a photo here we're going to try and put the drone up and see if we can go over that way but i don't really fancy walking like 5k to see it to be honest so yeah we'll probably not even stay here that long and then we're just going to go to a different beach I think that is it, like way over there. And then you see all like the sand dunes and stuff, how cool. I was so wrong thinking it was over there. It's actually like over that way um, because we've got the drone flying about. So we haven't a clue how to get to it, honestly. Okay, so we made it to where the actual wee thing is. That's up there. Instead of going straight when you come in the car park, you go you turn it to the right. And obviously just park right there and walk if you can't, if you don't want those by cars. But the people over there like doing barbecues and stuff and it smells so good. But yeah, we're going to get the drone up here, sit for a wee while, and then... We had just pulled up on the side of the road, that is the van, and we're on this wee summer seat. We're having some lunch, I'm going to have the cinnamon roll that I bought earlier, and Dougie has made himself a sandwich with the bread. Um, we just seen it on the side of the road, we're like, figure out well, shot or hop in here. We're going to head to a beach now after this called Twilight Beach and this could well be it because the beach was on for ages. But yeah, we're just going to sit here and have some lunch. Just in a roll. It's actually unreal. Bye. Okay, so we made it to Twilight Beach. That was the beach we were looking out on. It's just like a massive beach all the way around. The only thing is, it's a bit cold now. Like it's like 23 degrees and the sun isn't really out so like we can't really lie like i've got my jumper on so we don't know what we're gonna do what do you think <laughs> people did tell me it was cold here and then like earlier like i was like roasting all day um and i said oh my god like their rains were dramatic but it's not as we bit chilly here now definitely we wouldn't be getting into the water and no harm i don't think we're going to get in the water at all because apparently there's sharks here and that's just not a bit of age you know? So we are back at the campsite now. I've got all shirts. Is there anything better than like being at the beach all day and come back and shower? And um, we've actually just ended up using the showers, like in the place we're even using the shower in our camper van, which is such a waste. But um, yeah, our campsite is called RIC. I think it's like the biggest one here. So we're set up here now. It is like what is it? Half four. It's like half four, and we are sitting on our laptops for a wee minute, and then we're gonna go do a lap around the park because we actually haven't probably seen it yet and then we're going to walk down the street to see if we can see like sunset or something not sure sun actually sets really early here 20 to 6 so that's when i am but yeah we're gonna have a barbecue tonight for dinner and then we're gonna chill like i definitely feel more relaxed today whereas other two days was just like driving constantly and like trying to get places and da -da -da. so yeah today's better Sunset, um, it is really tidy, but it's actually funny because there's so many people actually up. We are actually gonna go for a run this morning as well, um, and then we need to see if we're able to stay in this caravan park for another night. And it doesn't open to eat, so I'm trying to get all that organized before we go. Just back from my run, I done five, I actually felt really good, um, and it's actually so warm now, but I'm just sitting in a wee chair outside because I just need to chill for a minute, and then I'm gonna get shared, I need my breakfast, and we need to see if we're able to stay on this camper van site, but it's only seven o'clock, so yeah. Okay, so we've made it to our first destination of the day. It is Lucky Bay. So this is actually located in a national park. So it was $17 to bring our camper van through. I think it's 10 for a car. Um, but if you have like a big car, like that one, you can actually drive it onto the beach. So yeah, obviously we're not driving that camper onto the beach, but apparently you can see like dolphins and all here. And also you can maybe get kangaroos on the beach, but 
I was reading a couple of reviews of recently and like apparently they don't really come down anymore but sometimes they do so yeah we're just gonna chill here for a while see what we can see I would love to get in for a swim I really would but I just I sure. don't fancy it sure, it's nothing it? about the shores <laughs> should we have a shore in the camper just the sharks like I'm just a bit scared we should have the all the seats you carry the bag should we aye Camper, Jiggy just went back and got them there. I sat on the grass, not on the grass, on the sand, on a towel for two minutes to wait on him, and my ass was so good, so I'm now drying my shorts. But yeah, this beach is absolutely gorgeous. Like, do not get me wrong, blue, uh, blue water and all that. But a lot of people were saying it, and I definitely agree that it's completely ruined. But the cars being able to come on, like at the back, is basically tarmac. I'm not joking. Um, it's also kind of seaweed and all, not that I was going to do the cars. But yeah, we'd love to get in the water, but too scared. We're having some lunch now. We're literally sitting outside the camper. I'm having, oh, it's about to break. A cheese and crisp sandwich. Chiggy's having ham and cheese and then just crisps. Not Anyone? Ham and cheese. I have just had, there's only one slice of cheese left. I took it. If you ever make a cheese, a crisp sandwich, add a slice of cheese to it and thank me later because it's unreal. Cheese and salt money of the day. Honestly delicious. It's actually really nice and warm now. Guys, okay, so we've made it to Hellfire Beach. So this one is actually so much nicer than Lucky Bay. So I think if I was switching to you, I'd pick this one. This one you can actually properly sit on the sand or actually sit on the rocks now because I do you want to do you can get it keep it on the drone. Um, and then we're just going to go live. It's way warmer now as well. Um, obviously it's a bit because it's a bit later, but Back. I just got shared and I'm having a wee yogurt now. Um, <laughs> I was walking to the shore there and I had my towel and all, and these two girls came walking past and they had a dead bird in their hand. They were like, Look, we have a dead bird. And I was like, Oh, like, both, did you though. see that? And I was like, Oh, like, blah, blah. And I was, then I was talking to them and then they go, The wee girl goes, Right, well, enjoy your shirt. And I goes, You too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said to the girl. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? That's how we TikTok me too. Literally. Like me too. And, and I walked to the bath and I was like, oh my god, I mean she was five, so she had no clue, but I was like, oh my god, like you know what it was? I don't know if it's just like a I feel like this is an Irish thing, like people like go to say their sentence before the first is finished. Do you do that? Like I already know what I'm saying back to you halfway through the sentence that you're talking. It's why I think I heard her say, have a good, and I thought she was going to say, have a good night. I mean, she was five years old. Why was it even thinking she was going to say that? Well, she, went, she said, have a good have chair. So I automatically went, you who? Like, I didn't even listen to what she had to say, and I had already got my sentence out. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Thank God she's like five, she had no clue. But yeah, I'm going to eat my yogurt, and I think we're just going to chill this evening, make dinner. I'm sure we are. Yeah. Looking good? Yeah. Like me at dinner. Let me see. Massa man curry. <laughs> the sticky slit full of potatoes. There's mine. Yum. Good morning. So we're up. It is 20 to 7. We're already on the road. We have a 7 hour drive. 6 or 15 minutes from where we're at now. <laughs> we make no stops when we get there to 20 to 2. I'm not even stopped for a week. Like this is actually mad, but we literally don't have time to stop at another place and then stop at the next place and we want to try and get as close to Perth as we can because we need to eat this back by like one of the day, so yeah, you'll not see much of today, but I'll let you know when we get there. Seven hours later and we're here. It's longer. Yeah, half six. We stopped a little bit. I know, but it's not six. 
We made a couple of stops, but we're finally here. How was it driving? That's about, that's about nine and a half hours. No, we got here about nine hours. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, I just my legs were fucked. I'm sitting all day. I don't know. But, so we're in Bunbury, because we were going to go to Margaret River, but we decided we'd go further up and I camp here so that on Wednesday when we're going back to Perth, we, we have less of a drive because we're just going to be driving in the camp around tomorrow anyway, so we're just going to go to Margaret River. It's only an tomorrow. hour and a half of the road, Perth yeah. to an hour um, and a half to Margaret River. Yeah. So we're just going to do that tomorrow, but it's like, what, half four? Four o'clock? Four. I don't really know what to do now because it's such a mission to like well, maybe get everything the, get back the in. And, uh, maybe. Humber in. Seal about. Uh, we might do that because it's annoying to try and like, take the caravan with us and also it's hard to get parking in places but yeah we've made it. Right so we came in to Bunbury Town and there's not much going on so there's actually nothing going on I would say. Um, we just got the bus like into what we thought was the main town and literally everything was closed then we walked down to the beach we're just going to watch sunset and we don't really know how we're getting back because we didn't drive with the bus um, and then our bus is at 10 past 6 so we'll not make it. So we're hoping we can get an Uber, if not. Can see what that means? Uh, okay. I'm starving too. So we can do easy nick and chippy, and it's like, oh, we'll get a chippy. But it's close. So, yeah. Good morning. So we are up and we left the campsite around, what time today? Nine. Yeah. Came down to Market River, so it was about a... Er, uh, 15? Or an, or an half it was. Um, I'm in a drive. I would, we were planning to actually stay in Margaret River and I would recommend staying in Margaret River over Bunbury, but the only reason we're staying in Bunbury is just we have less, less of a drive tomorrow um, to go back up to Perth. So yeah, it's actually a really, really nice town. We went to a bakery called Margaret River Bakery and it was absolutely jammed. Like there were so many people in it. I got a wee almond croissant, you got a sausage roll, we got some coffees, it was so nice. But now we're actually heading off to go to a couple of beaches and then we're going to stop in Bustleton on the way home. So yeah, we're plan to be out all day. So let's go. This place is completely bunged and I really should have listened to their reviews to say to come early but I kind of just thought like it's a Tuesday, it's not about calling around and I'm like surely they're not we people here. It's completely robbed. So kind of does take away from it if you know what I mean. Oh we are so happy coming in. Um so we're just gonna sit, do you just wanna get the drone up? Oh uh, it does and we'll see what it looks like from it. It's called Eagle Bay Beach. It was like a half hour drive from the last place we were at. We just getting the drone up night, but we're just going to chill here for a while. It's actually a really nice beach. It's actually huge as well. Um, and do you see the wee sign said that apparently there'll be sharks here, especially this time of year because there'll be loads of fish. So definitely not getting in the water. <laughs> We've just left that beach, we just pulled over, um, I just made some lunch, we've just made, we had an extra bap. I've got egg, halloumi, mushrooms, a slice of like American cheese and red sauce, that's really nice. We're at a different beach now, it's called, is it Melop or Melop? Melop, I don't know. Melop, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to eat this and then we're just going to go down and see what the beach is like. God, I think there's a shark at this beach. I'm just assuming that's why that thing is going around. It's really looks weird. Oh my god, they're literally doing circles and someone just said it's shark in the water. Huh? Oh my god, that's mad. The one time you don't bring your drone out. You probably can't even put the drone out because the helicopter's going around. Oh my god, this is mad. Okay, we've made it to Bustleton now. Is it Bustleton or Bustleton? Bustleton. Bustleton. Um, what do you see how long this jetty is? I think it's like 2k or something. I could be completely wrong, but I think it's like 2k long. It's like the longest one or something. Look how big that is. We'll get the drone up so you can properly see it. Okay, 
okay so that is the end of this vlog we're actually back up in person now we're just about to drop off the camper van but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about anything um please let me know i'm gonna put down the links of the campsites we stayed in and the camper van that we used so we went on to a website called camplify and this was the one that came up so yeah if you have any questions please let me know i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.